Welcome, welcome, everyone, to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully this finds you well. Now, I know this might seem weird to some people, but I asked you to bear with me, because this is a very good game, and it's extremely weird, but I think most people will like it. I mean, I love it. Airport for aliens, currently run by dogs. I will recap the story, what of it exists, uh, the best I can. So, we are one of two remaining humans in the galaxy. The rest of the human race has been wiped out uh, by aliens. Uh, then the aliens went extinct, and the only thing left are dogs who have evolved to sentience. And now, we have airports, an airport, or aliens, currently run by dogs. Your spouse is a scientist and spends a lot of time moving around and doing various things in various areas. She meets you at different airports along the way, and... You kind of just travel and enjoy your time when you're not with her. She's always working on a big government project, so that's her big thing. And our job is just to stop by and see her whenever, uh, whenever she happens to be somewhere. And that's what we're going to do. In the meantime, we're also going to be building our pupper decks, which is much, much like Pokedex, as you would imagine. That part's full of puppers. Yeah. What, what were we doing? We were originally on Beach... No. We originally started on Phobos, which is where we had our anniversary dinner and our... Uh... Uh... Marriage ceremony? Not 100 sure. I think we're married now. Uh, and then we got ambushed by a seven-foot dog called Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, who was supposed to be our caterer, but then put us in a cage. Uh, to everyone's surprise. Then we moved to Beachwell, talked to our honey, and after that, she said to meet her at the Marinara Trench. Not Marina Trench, the Marinara Trench. And that is here. We have since talked to her and we had a bit of an existential discussion. And now we are doing what we want to do. Uh, we are going to... Where are we going next? Especially we meet at Marinara Trench next in Terminal 2. I'll have to take the tram. Okay, so we haven't... Wait, no, we haven't met her in Marinara Trench yet. So we need to get on the tramp somehow. Kind of know where that is? So, my focus right now is going to be on talking to a lot of dogs, too. Hark! You go there. Here, I mean. It's nice to see you, is what I'm saying. The dog's drilf. I want to hug a giant fish at some point. There's no particular reason, it's just a general life goal for me. You know what? I think that's fair. I support that. A Pabuffstrian. Have you ever tried lifting weights with just your mouth? No, seriously, have you tried? Because I really don't want to break my teeth. Fair. 
But you have fabulous arms. Cats terrify me, because they're slender and powerful. We are. You can't tell how jacked a cat is, bro. They just... are. Okay. Who are you? Vending archaeologist. Oh, welcome back, beautiful stranger. Sorry. One second, what do you mean? This is a weird question. Can I have another axe? I'd be delighted to give you another axe. I've only got one joke and so many axes. Please come back anytime. Please. Don't remember getting an axe from him, but I'm glad that we have an axe. Do you throw things? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the music stopped when I started causing trouble. <laughs> Soda, 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 soda. Soda. Okay, so make me faster. Oh, this is Anxious Dog again. Hello. Listen, I'll do anything you ask. Just don't tell my boss I pee on the headphone tree. Okay, we've done this before. Got it, you sell, uh, it's all music? Well, yes. Welcome to Cryptic Karaoke, the only supernaturally themed record shop that I know of. Our selection is currently entirely Mothman themed, but I'm hoping to get in the stock of Slide Rock Bolter albums soon. Very niche stuff. It's love it. Take an album. Mothman appreciates your support. Did I really do this again? No, my tower. Aw. Okay, no, I'm not I'm not doing that again. We've I already have a short on the channel about what happened last time I got into the toilet water. Hi Gorby. Hi, nice to meet you. This is the gift shop, a uh space themed one. Want a souvenir? Sure, I'll take a souvenir. Thanks. Here you go. Gorby's a bit strange. We encountered him last time. Oh, hi again. Want a souvenir? Did you just hand me a gun? What do you mean? You gave me a gun, Gorby. Oh no. That's weird. Yes, it is weird. Hmm. You smell scared for some reason. I can hear your heart beating faster. It's so clear, it's almost like I'm looking... Inside you. Are you scared? A bit, Gorby. Well, I hope you're doing okay otherwise. You know, accidents happen and all. Not helping, Gorby! Okay, well, we have a gun now. Eh. What do you do? If I don't want to stop lifting, I feel like angels start crying, bro. They just want to see me transform into my best self, bro. I can't be letting those angels down, bro. So true. Oh, photo dog. Do we have a passport yet? No. What are you looking for? I need is toilet paper. You know, for a good reason. Okay. He needs toilet paper this time. Ah! That scared me. Hmm. 
Orchids. You like flowers? I like flowers. Welcome to Porkids, the friendly neighborhood flower shop for all your flower shopping needs. If you want a bouquet? I'd be delighted to sell you one. However, if you would simply like to smell the flowers for free, I encourage that as well. You deserve it, you know? What's your favorite flower smell? Sunflowers are my favorite by far. You sniff long enough and hard enough, your nose will get really hot. And if you keep sniffing, the seeds will fly out of the flower and up your nose and into your mouth. You'll hack them a bit, but that's okay. It keeps the seeds from getting in your lungs. So now you've got all these sunflower seeds roasted by your nose heat. You said this before, and I still feel so uncomfortable about this. Just sitting in your mouth, and you can just chew away. Gotta be honest, I hate this. I still hate this. <laughs> in the face of the infant, it's natural for the finite to feel a sense of repulsion, you know? Sunflower seeds are just like that sometimes. No, they aren't. They weren't before, and they aren't now. Dog Strilf. They don't call Dogdrasil the elf planet forever, right? Wait, they can't call Dog Dogdrasil the elf planet forever, right? Like, at some point, they have to use the actual name at some point. Right? Okay, I guess all the, the Dog Strilfs come from Dogdrasil. Safety dog. Uh, how do you feel about construction dog's big project? Yeah, he's building, trying to build somewhere. I can't remember what construction dog's doing. They're extremely cool, but I'm abs but absolutely everything they're doing in every way they're doing is rooted in the most dangerous approach possible. <laughs> it is so dangerous. That liquid below us, it's totally blood, right? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. That that is a that's a lake of blood. I didn't even notice the lake of blood. Why is there a lake of blood? That that concerns me greatly. I really don't know, man. Like it shouldn't be blood. It doesn't smell like blood. But every time I ask the dog I'm I'm talking to starts to get suspicious and guilty. I will continue to resist drinking the mysterious red liquid, and for your safety, I suggest you do the same. That's not concerning at all. What's I going to turn in? Oh. Wait, what do I have? That is the one I want to turn. I want to turn the gun in. You sly dog. Enjoy your reward and come back anytime. We got a cactus! I wonder what the cactus is for. Hi, construction dog. What do you need from me again? Bring back the plants to get to get behind that rad waterfall. Oh, they're trying to get into the waterfall over there. Still looking. If I throw this at you... Wait, what the... Hold on. I think it hits you in the face with a cactus and you run faster. That's weird. For a second, I thought this was like a dinosaur foot from this angle. Okay, so we have toilet paper. Other toilet paper you wanted? I'll put this to him. Very good use. Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby! Cheek! Cheek! I'll grab another one in, ca in case uh, Doggy Bowie needs uh, another one for some reason if he's on this planet. But he needed the last time because he couldn't go anywhere because of his illegal bones. Hello, friend. The dog Shrian. I keep thinking about the Mothman. Did that help? No, it didn't help. I mean, it kind of helped, 
but not really. Okay, so this is our save point. I love when dogs give me med medical attention. Cool. We've saved the game. We can also save the game in the menu, but this is just as funny. Uh, that's the Furious Argus. We already talked to them. I thought it said Horny Kara for a second, and I was so concerned. Horny Kara. Hi. I sell ice cream cones, which are made up of a bunch of tiny flavored pieces of frozen water that make your tongue cold and your brain happy. Oh, what? Love those stra strawberry cone. Wait. Now I'm concerned. How is the ice flavored? Very carefully. Take the strawberry cone, for example. We just kind of have to make the ice red, and the dogs being. And dogs being a bit colorblind. Is that a chunk of marinara in your flavored ice? A bit of blood? A speck of strawberry? Who knows? I don't like this. What's important is it tastes good and that you don't think about it. I I want to know both these things. Did you just say that ice cream cone might be flavored with blood? No. No, I did not. Yes. Yes, you did. One strawberry cone, please. That really looks like it's flavored with blood. Why is it squelch? Oh, no. That makes you faster. Whee! Oh. Orb! Hello, Orbo. Welcome to Orb. We sell Orb. We are Orb, and of course, Orb is. Orb is. How can Orb inhabit your life today, my friend? I suppose I need Orb. You certainly do need Orb. How observant of you. Enjoy. Orb certainly enjoys you. Yeah, no, I still don't like that. Colin Brella. Oh, because umbrella. Umbrella, okay. Whoa, you're a tall one. I bet you get rained on a lot with your head all in the sky like that. Uh, thanks, I guess. One umbrella? Sure. One umbrella? You get umbrella. Good look out there. Wait, you appear to have a leak. Where? Where am I seeing this leak? Oh, it's leaking on the counter. We have a leak. I'm aware. I tried to fix it. Construction dog took a shot at it. At this point, I'm choosing to just enjoy the irony. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Oh my gosh! It allows you to jump like super high in slow fall. That's cool. Wee! That's fun. I really like that. What is this? Oh, it's a magician shop. Oh, wait, we went to here. Magic dog. Presto, I've got a customer. Hi there. Not many customers these days. Shrewd deduction. However, contrary to all external evidence, I'm very popular. If that... Okay. If that isn't the case, not... Okay. It's okay if that isn't the case. Not everyone gets magic. But it's so cool, it's literally magic. It's a form built to delight. I know. It gives every interaction a small whisper of whimsy, the thrill of the known unknown, and the ability to share joy with others. I know. It's nice to be understood. Thank you, I needed that. Anytime. Maybe making his speech faster wasn't necessarily the right choice, but here we are. Tram dog Charlie. Oh my gosh, you must be a branch manager. You don't want to get on this tram, buddy. Do I want to ask why? I'm helping you do. Knowledge is power, buddy. Ain't got knowledge, you ain't got power. Power has the word ow in it, because knowledge hurts. What? Listen, 
If you throw something while you're on this tram, it'll fly through the friggin' window. If you jump while you're inside this thing, it'll launch you into the nearest ocean. Oh. This is dangerous. No one should ever use it. No one should have this. Frankly, I'm surprised someone managed to finish building this without getting struck down for their hubris. The fact that it exists is a sin. Okay, how am I supposed to get Terminal 2 then? Listen, buddy. My job is putting up problems. Solution are the other solutions are the other guys' department. That's not useful. The tram is bad. It is wrong. Get on board and remain distill as possible, okay? Hey, you keep avoiding public transit. Oh, hey, you keep avoiding public transit. Uh, no promises. Wanted to wait for it to move and then jump. Huh. Can I jump onto something? Ooh, that's a good spot. No? Oh. Shoot. That did not work the way I hoped it would. It is time to zoom. Zoom. We're on the other way this time. Wait, can we? Did we talk, talk to the dog yet? Race the dog. I think so. Place is called Coffee Boy, and I do the coffee stuff. Got an order? Isn't coffee poisonous to dogs? You mean the heart racing and the flesh skin and the dry eyes and the urge to piss everywhere? Because that's what it does to humans. If we're really truly honest with ourselves, none of us should be drinking this. I mean... Don't call me out. I'm gonna give him the Karen order and see what he says. Oh, that's a big order. You asked for something unprecedented and dangerous, and I have made it for you. Anyone asked you, you didn't get this from me. What the fuck? Oh. That is a big coffee! can't see anything! Drink it. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast! Oh, let's let's add this to it. Whee! <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, I can barely see what's going on. This is just so fast. What? This is like the after effect of the coffee. Oh, that's so weird. Uh, hold on a second. I need to check. Oh god, this is awful. I need to check in on Cabinet Dog to see how he's handled it. Why am I drunk from coffee? <laughs> cabinet Dog. I'm cut to the chase. I bought a lot of cabinets. And by a lot, I mean every single cabinet I could find. Yes, you already told me you bought 17,000 cabinets. We had this conversation. For years, I've done this. I'm a mariner drowning in a sea of cabinets, and I've created this ocean because I'm Poseidon. I don't know what this metaphor means in your war, but I'm still talking? Suffice to say, I have so many cabinets. Please send me for my cabinets. Buy cabinets. Buy several cabinets. I will take one exactly. I would take more, but I'm sorry. I don't know if I can save you. But doing the best we can, that's all we can do. Thank you. Now take the cabinet before I'm tempted to get a new one. I wonder when my vision will stop being awful. And yeah, not yet, at least. Radical Samantha. As you can see, this is a disturbingly primary colored establishment because we are the technology business. I assume you want to possess the incredible, all powerful smartphone. The place seems familiar. That's because we're in a converted orb. Bunch of dogs escaped orb. Our founder clung to the first thing we saw as a represent representational buoy of our sanity. And we decided to find our feet again by building a cozy little intergalactic telecommunications company. 
Wait, escaped orb? What's what? How dangerous is orb? Long story short, our mascot is now a banana. It's very easy to have a healthy relationship with the technology after recovering from a relationship with an Eldritch God. Okay, so the orb is an Eldritch God. That's a lot to absorb. It's a lot to live through. You know what? I think I think that's fair. That I think that's fair. And I, I do actually want a smartphone though. Certainly, man. Here you go. Perfect timing. Term. Hey, Ron. We're playing an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. And we are on our way over the blood red ocean that's probably not blood maybe to see our fiance who is where that star is yeah we're here okay i think we've seen everything in terminal one luxury in we have to get bag insurance. I don't have any bags, but it feels like a missed opportunity. There. I don't really need to be here. Barista dog? Bartender dog. Oh, this is an alcoholic place. Welcome to the back end. It's named that because butts are on the back of your body. I've been told it's extremely funny. <laughs> now I see what you're thinking. You want to drink from your own toilet pool, don't you? No. Well, consider this a home away from home, a place to forget your troubles, stick your head underneath a hygienic and delicious tap of premium toilet water, and lap that sucker up. Uh, What can I get you, my friend? Uh, Do you deserve, serve anything that isn't toilet water? No, not yummy. We tried sparkling water, but just made everyone fart on their flights. Okay. Do you know what 245 dogs queue up in a tiny space and a farting at the same time sounds like? <laughs> no. I don't want to <laughs> armory kit. <laughs> okay, very much understandable, I think. Let me know if I can help you any else how. Oh, wait, I didn't read that. Hello, friend. The taps are always open, but I recommend number three. I don't like that. It's especially toilety. No. No. Are these all just the same artisanal water? Or artisanal toilet water? Here you go, Camilla. Nope, the orb's not getting away. I don't need a cabinet. Or an axe. Wait. Just occurred to me that I might actually need an axe! Because <laughs> I need to get planks from somewhere. For a construction dog. I wonder if I can chop... There was like some... Free like things on Terminal 1 that I might be able to chop with an axe. Keep that in mind. Lurk dog. Oh. Oh. Hello. I have an employee discount. What am I supposed to spend it on? Oh yes, this is this is the dog that's like, I can't wear anything here. Like one shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling here. Pair of shoes. Sell shoes. The last delicacy. The good stuff. Take one of the good stuff, then. Excellent choice. I don't remember why we need this. Just a nice block of water. If you hold shift or space, you won't fall in. Or like, you won't fall down further. Whee! Nice little shortcut. I 
I just ate them! Why? Oh, because dogs eat shoes. Okay. Let's get a magic book. Frederick. Oh, hey, you got through the maze. That's neat. I've got a book to get back to, but I'm happy to help if there's something I can help you with. Why the maze? It's a pretty interesting story, but if you don't need anything just now, I have a book I'd like to get back to. Can you tell me part of the story? <sighs> At first, it was a game for me. A way to organize my growing collection of volumes. When I noticed it also put off all but the most dedicated or curious pups, it stuck around. Isolation can be convenient. Thanks for sharing, Frederick. You're welcome. Have a good day now. Give me something unique. Don't kind of be sort of infected with dark magic. Watch out for that, okay? Well, we have a grimoire now. Ah, yes, now he's glowing. I wonder if Safety Dog would like the grimoire. Why isn't here at gates closed? In some ways, isn't the flight always here? If we discount that time exists, yes. Otherwise, the attendant gets here about 90 minutes before we take off. So you're waiting too? I'm always waiting, pal. I get what you're coming to me eventually. No one escapes. Not really. What is wrong with the pilots? They're all drunk and all existentially terrified. Excuse me? This one is a very different... Setup. This must be one of the pupper decks ones. Yeah. Dare dog. I bet you can't pet me. Oh. In fact, I dare you to pet me. If you've already pet me, I dare you to do it again. Of course, you can always say no for big old chicken. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Oh. Uh. What if we pretended it worked and you pet me anyways? Fine. Thank you. I just love getting pets, man. I just love a little old hug vacuum. Getting all the pets. My. Am I petting him? Hold on. Oh, I need an op open hand for... No! Orb! No. Hold on. Okay, if I do this, I'll have an empty hand. I don't know if I petted him properly. Hard to say. Chad Shakespeare. <laughs> he uses a hat on top of him. Forsooth, my dude, and welcome. Let thine eyes roam across the bodacious expanse of my boards, and let me know how I can help. You'll be the first to know, Chad Shakespeare. Take care of thine self, buddy. I want, to, I want a board. Bro, once again, I'm honored to have your visage smile upon me and stuff. Are you? Is this is it safe at the board to be for the board to be spraying sparks everywhere? The board is on a journey. It currently hath a need of an eternal grind and is not our place to judge. It also looks very cool, which lessens my sense of danger. I sure hope this is not a situation I come to regret. Bro, once again, I'm honored to have your visage smile upon me and stuff. How are you? I need a skateboard. Please remember to wear knee pads. I would not wish for thy... 
I would not wish for thy rad buttocks to be wounded. I don't... I mean, I have a pretty rad buttocks, so I, I get it. I think this gives me a minor reusable speed boost. Brace the dog. I'm slightly confused. Am I actually on Terminal 2? I think I am. Dog strength. They can't do oh, okay, we already talked to them. About the elf planet. Okay. Ornikara, that's the ice cream lady. Jews. Ooh. Willy Dogka! Why, hello! I am Willy Dogka! Pri purveyor of sweet treats, emissary of adventure, and sinner of sins! Do you want a golden ticket to adventure? Is it made of real gold? Yes, it is wildly expensive. I shouldn't be giving them out so often, but I'm so lonely all the time. It leads to a variety of poor choices. Oh my gosh, he's trying to get Aramir's Ar voice from Path. Uh, what do your tickets actually do? They're golden tickets. You can use them for gold stuff, but not ticket stuff. It makes it makes sure we take a special trip together. I feel like he's going to kidnap me. I also hear that it grants ex access to an exclusive airport lounge that I have... Not attempted to visit due to horrible social anxiety. Oh, God, mood. Wait, what do you mean by us flying together? Uh, well, you see, I've very slightly altered your reality with my money. The next time you board a plane, I'll be there. I'll be there. Tell me what you mean, Willy Dogka. Awesome, good, okay, good conversation over questions. <laughs> One second, though. Oh, you came back. That that doesn't happen very often. I like a golden ticket. Behold, a golden ticket. Please take care of it. How do you make all your money? Other folks just give this stuff away. Me, on the other hand, I hoard it to make the bad feelings go away. Sounds like most capitalists. Does it help? Ah! Absolutely not. Okay, I'm going away. Goodbye. Please come back when you can. I don't actually know how to use this. Okay, so this makes me slightly faster. So where is our spouse? Jimmy Donuts is here! Yo, Jimmy Donuts. I sell donuts. It's my Destiny. My donestiny. What can I get you? I'll take a chocolate donut, thanks. Chocolate? I get you chocolate. Good flavor. Live flavor. Of course, if I eat it, I die. Immediately. Because it's a chocolate donut and I'm a dog. Oh. Oh gosh. Now nah, you're good. It's nice to find I have someone to sell these to. Enjoy the reliable flavor on my half. behalf, because it would reliably kill me. That joke was definitely funny the first time, but unfortunately, I already know it. The Noir Strian. The next time someone asks me why I'm wearing this hat, I'm going to tell them. Someone deserves to know at this point. It's a good story. But 
I, I am asking. Oh, I want to know. Oh. Oh, that's weird. I see Krista. All right, that's why I haven't been I haven't seen her for a while because I went the entirely wrong way because I saw the water. <laughs> Dander dogs here too. Oh hey buddy, probably wondering why your boarding pass, igloos, and fun little whatnots don't stick around when you leave the airport, huh? Oh boarding pass igloos because you can get fifty boarding passes instead of one, and it just like forms a little pile like an igloo. Yeah, well, they have the same dialogue as before. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hi, Krista. Yay. <clears throat> Yo, where have you been? I was hanging out with dogs. A lot of dogs. Sounds like you've been having a heck of a time. Good for you. We're doing a lot of batch testing in the lab right now. It's given me time to think. Also, time to finally show up to our meeting early. I have a bit of a wild idea. Have you considered making a friend? I have friends. Do you, though? I know most dogs I talk to are kind of my friend by default, and that's nice, but it's transient too. It's important to have friendships that go beyond a smile. I think I understand what you're saying. That's why I'm going to suggest that you, uh... What if you became friends with Cage Dog? <laughs> I mean, I want to answer. I want to select all of them at once. The cage dog that locked us in a cage. There are I I can understand the objections. I was the one who said you should be more careful about trusting incredibly large dogs who like dropping cages on people. <laughs> but before he locked us in a cage, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. I don't know. He's deeper than a lot of dogs we meet. You also have an on-again, off-again relationship rivalry thing going on 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 that seems to... Uh, you also have an on-again, off-again relationship rivalry thing going on that seems like it has real potential. A rivalry, if you will. I have serious doubts. He's already betrayed you once. What's the worst that could happen? He does it again? Can you promise me to at least give it some consideration? All right, for you. Thank you. Last I heard, Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was in Patsville. Do with that information what you will. As far as our next meeting point, what do you what do you say we find our way back to Beachwell? I want to get my tan on before we speed work speeds up again. Sounds like a plan. Fantastic. I love you, weirdo. I love you too, weirdo. That's like the cutest part of the relationship when they call each other weirdo. I really like it. Anything else interesting going on here? You already saw most of what there is here. Okay, so we need to go to Beachwell. It was Gorby again. Okay, we need a ticket station, which is probably going to be at Terminal 1, if I were to guess. Where is my umbrella, anyways? I don't have it anymore. That's sad. I'll have to get another one. I have enough. Open stuff. I 
assume these don't stack. That'd be kind of ridiculous if they stacked. I have, like, multiple things that can give me, like, perm- like, not permanent, but, like- WHOA! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they stack! <laughs> That's about to happen! That scared me! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, oh, we caffeine crashed because of it! Oh my gosh, okay. Whoa boy, that scared me. <laughs> Way more than it had any right to. Info dog. Well, hello. Welcome to Marinara Trench, the galaxy source of Marinara. Yes, we know what that what that viscous red liquid is below us. Yes, we do not question where it comes from. That isn't blood. It's Marinara, you silly. I'm Claudius. Claudius. And if you have any Questions about the airport? I'm here to answer. Need anything? I remember you, Claudius. Where are all the cactus coming from? I'm not a xenobot. I'm not a xenobotanist, but I think there's genuine earth cacti. Regardless of the environment, the cacti find new ways to live, new things to become in the process. Kind of like people. Come to think of it. My condolences about your species, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am one of two left. Uh, okay, I'm good for now, I think. I think I know the rest of it. We need to actually find, like... Oh, we do actually have a... We have an axe. Are these made of wood? Or rock? I don't know if any of this is choppable. Someone has wood somewhere. I bought some pup teen powder today. It's like protein powder, but it works. Okay, I need to actually find the ticket. Oh, there's the ticket stuff, okay. Hello, I have short term memory loss. Would you like a boarding pass to Patsville? Okay, so we can either go to Beachwell to see Krista, or Pat's will to see... Patsville to see Cage Dog. I think I'd like to go to Patsville and see Cage Dog. I don't... I don't really want to get trapped in yet another cage, but, like... I don't know. Something to do, I guess. I'm kind of curious. I'm looking for 2239. Okay. Let's see where 2239 is. I don't know where to get construction dog his wood, and I don't think you can take things between stations, which is what confuses me. Right, which gate is this? Three, okay. Looking for 2239. 2345. 217. And the last one is the 2314. Yeah, okay, so it's in. I'm in Terminal 2 probably then. Wait, I saw a tram dog over here. We want to go to the tram anyways. I don't know if those bonuses actually stack. The trams are there still. Where's, I'm gonna grab an umbrella again. I like being able to jump really high. Yes, I would like an umbrella. I wanna see if I can jump onto the tram as it's coming by.
Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Now, I want to actually land on the tram before it goes. Okay. I'm on top of the tram. Oh my gosh, this works. Cool. I like that there's planes in the Marinara. I guess it makes sense that it's called the Marinara Trench. Oh wait, do the planes actually denote where the, uh, where the boarding spots are? That would make sense. If that's the case, and all the boarding spots should be over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is quite quite a setup between the water, the cactus, and the umbrella working together. Okay, we still have a lot of time before our flight, but I do want to know where it is. 50... Thankfully, there's only two terminals. 20, okay. 28 past midnight. 123. 22.39, that's mine, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yep, C3. We already talked to you? Yeah. Okay, so I can go as, come in probably as early as 90 minutes before. So it's 1957 right now. I'm going to try the bed. I regret my choices. I'm pretty sure that just fucked me. Yep. Okay. Well. That bribe dog wanted something meaty. I believe the best option is going to be to go to one of the vending machines and get a squeaky salami. There we are. There we go. Okay. We need to go back to Terminal 1 again. Sigh. Whee! Oh, perfect. I'm gonna get to the tram in time. Like, right as it's coming back in. Why is everything especially bright right now? That was weird. So I don't know why hitting myself in the face with a cactus makes me faster. <laughs> it really doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. Okay, so what's the next time for Hatsville? Three thirty-eight. Okay, let's go and check these. Two seventeen. Where's the stupid thing? Looking for three thirty-eight. 337. Yep, that's different. Okay, so it's in this one is also in terminal two. Uh eh. almost fell off. 
Oh, whoa, 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 land, please. Okay, cool. I mean, I can just go in it, but I don't know. I like being on top of it. It's fun. Okay, so I need to head over to that section for the planes. Looking for 338. Starting to really get used to the movement in this game. One fourteen. One twenty three. Oh, I need three thirty eight. Playing twenty five. Forty six. What? I'm confused. What? Was the 337 one the right one, maybe? I don't think so, though, because this one has an upside down A and a 1, and the other one has like a B2 or something. This one's A2. Unless that's supposed to say supposed to mean terminal one. Not you. I want. I want. I was trying to do the. Uh, where is it? Okay, here we are. This is the right one. Uh, we have four hours to kill. And the bed is like five hours. I wonder where the time zone is. I saw the time zone in the airport somewhere. I don't remember where. Might be Terminal 1. Yeah, well, we've at least found the place now. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't want to just wait forever, so I am going to go to the time zone. Let's see if the time zone's here or not. Space, umbrella... What is this? Oh, this is the briefcase one who hates briefcases. No, I don't... No, I don't... No, let me out! I'm just bad at this. Purple briefcase. Whatever, you can have that. Here is the time zone. That's where my last umbrella went. I'll need to go to, like, three. And then I'll get out of the time zone. Yeah, because I have, like, 90 minutes leeway, so there's no reason to cut it too close. Whoa! <laughs> oh, boy! This is really fast! Oh, no. This is not going to go well for me! <laughs> no! 
Oh no. Oh no. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, am I internal one or two? I don't even know anymore. Oh gosh. Okay, I should stop messing around. Otherwise, I might actually miss my flight again. Last thing I want. Oh god, this is terminal one. Ah shit, I need to be in terminal two. I'm happy that I left time, because if I didn't, I would be in trouble right now. Let's torment Tram Dog Charlie a bit. What do I have that actually gives things? Money gives green. God, I hate how bright this is. Uh... Okay, we're gonna wait till the that shit is gone. Just gonna stare at the ground till then. Till everything isn't like washed out in yellow. Why are things getting more yellow? Wait, why are the sides of my screen flashing? It's like I'm underwater. Fuck. What is going on? I need to be over there. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, I hate that. I need to not drink soda. Oh, wait. Pill Dog? Wait, what? I have a deeply unfortunate name. Let me make this very clear up front. However, the plane does need a restocking medical supplies in pill form. Bring someone we can take off. What? From where? Oh, maybe from the medical area. Darn, I got the salami hoping that this one would also need salami. Where is the clinic? No. No. No, don't tell me. No. No, don't tell me I need to go back to Terminal 1. <laughs> oh, why? Eh. 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 <laughs> I'm so sad about this. I don't know where else to get pills. Uh. Okay, well, I'm going back to Terminal 1. Wait, hold on a second. I have a faster way. Okay. Happy that it is that it easy. Yeah, I see the pill area, or the doctor's office. I still have 34 minutes left, so I'll be good. Pills. Can I get some medicine? How sick are you feeling on a scale from one to eight extremely large bottles of pills? Uh, just one sick? Uh, I would like you to save me. Okay, thank you. Okay, where is the tram? Uh. <laughs> No! No! 
Yes! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> that was so stupid and risky! That was so stupid, risky, and not required! Wait, where? God, where the fuck is? Uh, where? <laughs> where is my gate? I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at playing. Why am I terrible at playing? I'm just hitting myself with this cactus repeatedly. The only way I know how to feel joy. Okay, here you are. A very large number of things. No! No! Damn it! <laughs> I'm so upset right now! Wait, what am I doing? There's a faster way to get to Terminal 1. Than going back on the tram. Okay. Where's the doctor? Okay, I see green. Look, I'm trying really hard. It's just nothing. It just, I just am struggling. I'm just struggling so much. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do this again. Fucking tram. Well, okay. It won't. I won't lose anything if this doesn't work. No. No. No, no, no. No. Okay. I almost. Almost caused a problem. This is not working. This is, in fact, not working. There. At least I'm on time. Was gonna get in the tram naturally. Okay, so I have pills this time. Okay, I'm gonna left click on the dog rather than right clicking because that was the problem. Okay, so we're going over there. Right here. Sorry to... drop in! I do have your pills. Oh. Right, I need to actually be holding them. Okay. And left click on the dog. Get your pills. No, we're not sharing some. Oh, gosh. Okay. That was, like, way, way more than that needed to take. That was ridiculous. 
I didn't know you could see outside. Oh, Willy Dog here. You're here! On my candy plane! I got you, I got you, I got you! I got you and you can't escape! <laughs> oh god, the loneliness has turned me into a monster. I'd very much like to know what's happening. <laughs> it's a system which does... It's a system which I suppose makes it worse. I don't even know his voice anymore. If anyone talks to me, a protocol goes into effect, utilizing a great deal of time and effort to divert their flight. Instead of boarding a Lufa Airlines flight to Dogdrasil or something, they'd end up on my candy plane next to me. Oh my gosh, I'm becoming Yugi Boy. Fucking Pegasus. You're the first person to talk to me in a very long time. I shouldn't have brought you here without asking. I'm so sorry. And deactivate the system? The short answer is no. The long answer is no. Oh. I did an incredibly complicated set of things while I was deeply sleep deprived, and if I so much as look at the system again, I could destroy the very concept of airports as we know them. Mistakes were made on, on purpose. If you talk to me out in the world, the system will activate again, but I'll always drop you off where you wanted to go. No matter what, you will get home, I promise. And I'm so, so sorry. You know, sorry isn't enough, right, Willie? Yes, I do. So I'm going to do what I can to fix things and leave you to your thoughts. Your space is your own, and clearly have a lot of things to work through. Okay. Patsville Interstellar. Enter the airport known as Patsville. Okay. Welcome to Patsville. Oh, I have all my stuff! That's a surprise. In that case, I'm gonna beat myself with the cactus again. Norstrian. I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. I listen to Ska on the weekends. Don't look at me! Okay. This. Oh, there! it's an airplane. I don't know why, but I thought I was expecting this to be a toilet. Wait, no! These are pe these are dogs peeing! <laughs> and dogs playing in the pee. Oh, I thought they were mounting each other. Okay, that's- I'm thankful- I'm thankful they're not. Yeah, there's- there's dogs that are spitting water, there's a plane, and there are dogs that are peeing. Okay. <laughs> and so, the trials of Patsville begin. Okay. Oh, it's the banana and toilet paper store. Friendly business dog, welcome to the toilet paper and banana store. You ask me why you sell these two things, I'll tell you. They always ask. I'll just take a minute. I already, I already, you've already explained this to me. I guess some toilet paper? My dear friend. I would be delighted to give you some toilet paper. I'm glad you can't eat the toilet paper. I appreciate that. No, I'm not doing this again. Not getting stuck in it. The last is up. Welcome to the light show. Now you strike me as a chandelier type of gal. Is that about right? I I've enjoyed my share of chandeliers. 
As have I. Things about chandeliers, they're a public menace. More humans die from tragic chandelier accidents every year than shark attacks, plane crashes, and slipping on banana peels combined. Chandeliers might have destroyed the human race. We don't know. The only reason that a chandelier hangs over our heads as we speak is to tempt fate. Are you trying to sell me a murder weapon? If Safety Dog asks... No. Yes, I'll take one. A very bright lamp, yeah. yeah I'm not gonna have that out. Okay, Rimuraki. He, wait, what does Rimuraki give us? Oh, he actually gives you a guitar? Thank you. Oh no. I just need the Mo do I have the Mothman album still? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm creating a menace. Hey, Samantha. Yeah, we already talked to her. It's just anxious dog, yep. We already have a Mothman record. Is this... Is this a jump pad? Yay! I love things like these in games. When Gear Wars 2 added uh, jump pads, I was so excited. I feel excitement again. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's a booster strip, like in Mario Kart. Where am I even going? I don't actually know where I'm going. Wait. What, what is with that road? Oh god, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> why, why is the road going up and there's a plane going... 120 degrees? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, oh, oh no, combine- no! <laughs> I've made an air. What the fuck is all this? Apparently I've made an error using the umbrella. Uh, however... I, I would like to get down onto that hexagonal building right there. I'm not going to make it. Darn. Oh, I thought this was glass. Okay, no, that's easy. Let's get through then. Shoe dog, tennis ball dog, skateboard dog, bathroom, light dog, magic dog. Do I have a passport still? I have a passport already. I don't think I need another one. But what do you want anyways, though? I don't, do I have toilet water on me? I might. I don't really need to do it, but I kind of just want to do it to make him happy. Dude, you could have just gone to the vending machine. Yeah, well, I don't need to do it. The 
cool and take it do anything? I genuinely can't tell if it does or not. <laughs> oh, the money does something. Gives us the green. Missing something. Did the light do anything? I think the light makes him more incandescent. There's one other. What am I missing? Mothman. You know? It's actually working right now. Like, they're kind of at the same time. This is such a gloriously incandescent creature right here. This makes me really happy for reasons I can't adequately explain. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's the Furious Artist. Oh, I'm breaking artist this time. Sigh. I used to be the toast of the town. Sculptures, multimedia, you name it. Every medium I touched, I managed to produce something fresh and interesting. I made such splash when I started that when people look at my art now, they just say, cool, I guess. Probably don't mean it that way, but it's unexpectedly brutal passive aggression coming from a dog. For attention spans, you get it. I won't lie, though. It's heartbreaking. I'm a better artist than I've ever been. I'm just not a new one. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, I find a healthy outlet to deal with all these negative feelings. I'm gonna go blow something up. Wait, what? Nothing that would endanger anyone. No massive property damage or impact on infrastructure. Just a little explosion for me. Anything that can produce a large, loud, cathartic boom would do. Am I bringing me one? I'll give you a cool spray paint color if you do. I'm not sure how I feel about delivering an explosive device to a cat. Cool, hopefully. It's a very cool thing to do. Quite trendy. Worst case scenario, safety dog, swoop, safety dog swoops in and panic fixes everything. I can live with that. I'll think it over. I appreciate it, and remember, give you some cool paint in return. You can use it to draw nonsense everywhere. It's a win-win situation all around. As a fellow cat, I have a vested interest in helping this, this cat. But I also don't already get explosives, of all things. I have nothing that even remotely re resembles explosives. <laughs> I guess I'll just walk around for a little while, see what everything is. Cabinets, orb. Uh... You know what? Gorby gave me a gun last time. Do you have anything explosive, Gorby? I'll take a souvenir. Okay, it's just a gun. Really hoping for something new. We have Jimmy Donuts. We have Barista Dog. Uh, barista Dog. Uh... Passport, magic, lamp, piss station, skateboard, balls, shoes, shoe. Wait, there's two shoe stores beside each other that are identical. <laughs> Briefcase store, beef store, beds, books, skateboards. Case. There's so many of the same stores. Right, record store, Borchids, Banana store, other passport store. What do I feel like I might find something in a back alley somewhere? Or explosives. I'm back in the area I was just in.
Hmm. Terminal 2 this way. I beat myself with a with a uh cactus a bit. Wait. Oh, that's time dog. I thought that was uh David Boney. Oh, it's absolutely not a dog. Yo, nice eternal night we're having, huh? Wait, it's eternal night? Why, it's always night? I didn't think to ask, and now that you mention it, must be an atmospheric kind of deal. Anyways, you look like a person who can appreciate a good set of tools. Wait, I'm doing this so wrong. I've got some spare tools, but I don't have... But what I don't have is patience. I wanna I wanna feel a new feeling, Mar. For the first time in my life, I want to feel confused. You enable Nya that sensation, and I'll share my hammers with Nya. Seriously, these are beautiful hammers too. You will not be disappointed. Do you just want me to chuck something confusing in your direction? I'm hoping to get a jump on myself with the element of surprise. We'll see if it works. I have a lot of confusing things in my inventory. Is that good? Okay. Hmm, what's confusing? Okay, so being confused sucks. <laughs> but at least I know now. I'd I'd say you more than earn this. Come back if you want more construction equipment, too. I have spares for days. You planks? Ah, the confusing person. Doing well these days? How do you get into construction? I was passing by a work site when an extremely positive Sheba waddled up to me and asked if I knew how to plug in a drill. Of course I said yes. Yes, if I was a cat, because he always wanted to meet one. Of course I said no. Next thing I knew, I had a yellow hard hat and a, the total trust of my colleagues. It's a good gig. Company isn't bad either, if you don't mind a little dog breath. You get used to it. Alright. Can't cut this down. I where you're supposed to get the, the planks for construction dog. You want to sleep with the fishes? Me too, man. They look so comfortable down there in the water. Uh, one can dream. What is this? Oh, it's just a bathroom. Wow, I have to say, Patsville is very big. I'll save in Patsville. Information dog. Well, oh, hey there. My name's Daryl, but you can call me Daddy O. You're not required to call me Daddy O, Daddy, or any variant thereof. This is Patsville International Airport. Noir is filled with patsies, and dogs love pats. So, yeah, here we are. If cliche means anything, if cliche means everyone gets fedoras, then we will wear them gladly. I will not. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or mysteriously dead spouses, I am more than happy to help. Oh, because, like, noir detective. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's actually a lot of things here uh, that I want to know about. Okay, how do I find my gates? Patsville's big. Big town, but you'll make it. There are five big areas you need to know about. The first is Dog Park. We're standing in it. It's nice. The second big major area is... Dogatomi Plaza. It's the big building filled with rose-colored lights, lots of shopping, lots of gates. The third area is the plaza, you know, the place where you landed. Got a lot of nooks and crannies, so keep an eye out. The fourth area is the overpass. We already went up there. Westbound something. Right above us. 
Not much to do up there, but it'll get you where you need to go. The fifth area is Crooked Square. Lots of history there. Some unsavory types. Be careful. All the green signs will help, but only so much. As you mentioned, it's a big place. Okay, so I want to go to the Crooked Square then. So that I can get some... Ideally, some explosives for the cat. Do these buildings actually leave anywhere? Most of them appear to be for show, but I hear that there is a couple of special places you can get into if you know where to look. Have the right connections. Then there's the usual complement of secrets every city has. Pottsville's a good place to find things. Which makes it a good place to get lost in, too. You know what I mean? That feels a whole lot like... This is where I come to get stuff for other places. So I feel like I'm going to find the blanks here. I heard Cape Dog is around. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I, I really couldn't say. I assume you've met? Okay, that's really concerning. We've met, but I'm not sure I know him. No one knows Cage Dog. He's the dog who loves cages. He just is. Philosophers will be debating his existence for centuries to come. That is so not helpful. <laughs> Does the sun ever come up around here? The sun comes up or the street lights turn off. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in big trouble. Darvin helped me with mysteriously dead spouses. Does that happen often? If you need to ask, then you don't need to know. I'm good for now. Take care, daddy-o. Get back at you, buddy. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm gonna buy explosives, so I hope you'd buy explosives. That looks like it says crooked. It's the right number of letters. Starts with a C. There's two O's. I'm gonna follow that. Big doors. I'm gonna find Crooked Square. Just anxious dog. Corby. Keyboard dog. Radical Samantha. So much time looking for a nemesis, and I didn't ask myself whether I was ready to be a good nemesis. You gotta ask yourself the important questions. Oh? Barista. Dog. Okay, I'm interested. Can't let you in without the password. I was actually trying to order some coffee. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. I guess the secret's out. Behind this, me, is a place for cats and honorary cats alike to get away from the hustle and bustle of a dog-run society. Since you are neither a cat nor an honorary cat, I'd need a current member of the club to vouch for you before I can get you in. If you hand me something, someone's unique ball of yarn, I'll open the door for you. Where do I find the password first? Oh, that's a small joke. There's no password. I just wasn't going to let you in. When I'm in a mood, I can feel like being an obstacle on purpose. My apologies. Yeah, I don't have the yarn anymore from... Each well? Obos? I don't remember. Is there anything you can actually use in the bathroom besides just getting toilet paper here? Like, or is this just meant to be silly? I think it's just meant to be silly. This feels like this might be Crooked Square, but nothing here screams like crooked or anything useful. Are you still the same Gorby we know and love? Yep. Yes, you are. Uh, 
That's the golden ticket. Do I still want the golden ticket? It doesn't hurt to have it. Unfortunate. I felt like I could find the stuff here. Well, I do have the hammer now, which I imagine is for something important. Okay, I cannot go up that. I guess that makes sense because of gravity and all, but I had to try. You know, I mean, this, a lot of things in this game don't exactly make a huge amount of sense. I've already looked at most of the places around here. Gender dog, do you have any information for me? Oops. I'm gonna go up. So there's a gate there as well as a noir strand. Okay, let's try the first level. I've been told I look very good in a fedora. They were lying, but it felt good to be told, you know? There. I don't know if anyone looks good in a fedora, I'll be honest. Umbrella, there we are. Okay, I'm going to go up a bit farther now. Okay. Um, not this far, ideally. Okay, I would like... Can I have a smaller umbrella? One that doesn't do this. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't land up there, surprising. That's weird. Administrator dog. No, just no. I'm tired. I'm filled with... Oh, I'm filled with ennui. And you can't get me fired up with, with a love for the very concept of life. I don't care if you miss your flight. I just can't today, man. I'm sorry. Find a way to get you fired up? Just one moment. Okay, well, I assume if I need to go to Administrator Dog, I probably need to get my coffee. I mean, that's kind of how I deal with not having energy and also having to work. <laughs> Hi, Safety Dog. Knew he was a tr yeah. Knew he was trouble the moment he walked through my door. That's how noir detectives say hello. Oh. Howdy. If you find anything illegal or dangerous, bring it back to me and you get a special reward. Anything you like, turn in today. Uh. Gotta be careful about here. Places are pretty safe, barring the love of my fellow dogs for shenanigans. I hope I haven't inspired any worry. That said, avoid cage dog. <laughs> Of course. The alleyways in Patsville you shouldn't walk down. Okay, so Pat okay, so Cage Dog is in an alley. What's the rewards for Patsville? The word for this this planet is a beautiful gem that definitely isn't cursed and super isn't taken from a mysteriously departed spouse. I don't know why my source felt the need to clarify that these gems are not cursed and not connected to the spirits of their many mysteriously departed spouses, but I but they sure did talk about it. They talked about it a lot actually. Yeah, I'm not going to think about what the implications of this are. It's just more safe. Hmm. Okay. I have my gun be. Okay, I'm going to take the not cursed gem. So, we did have a noir dog that was like, hey, if you need help finding your mysteriously departed spouses or something, you can come to me. So, I'm going to go find them and see if this sparks anything for them. Pretty sure it's this one.
Okay, that doesn't really help me. Hmm. Dog Predator here, what do you like to call? Uh, I don't think anyone else is alive. I'd like to call my mom, thanks. You got it! I'm sorry, sir, but the number seems to be out of service. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Dog Parader. Oh, because everyone's dead. Okay! Kristen Marshall, please? You got it. I heard her very smell. Would you like to hear it? No, I think I know what it says. Okay, that's probably because it says the same thing as last time we talked to it. I love when dogs give me medical attention. Uh, I want to save my game. Did I talk to you? Oh, that's the fishy guy. So, I guess... But I guess I just need to find alleys to go down to find Cage Dog. Because apparently I'm finding Cage Dog. That's just how today is, apparently. Is that large enough for me? Yes, it is. Behind things now. I'm gonna find something somewhere. It'll be around here, probably. Oh. Why, it's the Infinite Void. My favorite. Can I run along? Okay, I cannot run along those. Is this where I just was? No, this is different. This is a different infinite void area. <laughs> okay. I might have to get back on a plane and just go see Krista, because I'm not sure if I, like, how light... Oh, here we are. Not sure how well I'll be able to find Cage Dog. Also, this feels like a place where there would be a secret. So it could also just be a random shit and I can't go anywhere. Okay, let's keep going, looking for more places where Cage Dog might be. I mean, I could, I guess I could actually look it up. Place is a bit big. <laughs> Maybe the Crooks area is near the uh, artist. Because he is the one who wants the explosives, and the game might be like, well, if you want to get that thing, you should probably go near that person, maybe. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? I can do this much easier. Um... I feel like a lot of this is just empty space that they didn't do anything with, which is not making this easier. <laughs> I don't know why you hit your face in the ca with the cactus. I still don't understand that. <laughs> okay, there's nothing going to be over there. This feels like a place where something should be. It's, there's nothing, but it feels like there should be something there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Man, I'm more effective with this cactus than I am with my Quicksilver. In path. I never fucking remember to use my Quicksilver, but this cactus? No, totally. I will cactus the fuck out of myself. That draws the eye. Nothing? Oh. Okay, so it's not intentional. <laughs> Behind some stores now. Come on, there's gotta be something around here. You can't tell me that all of this is... Oh. Okay. There's an invisible wall here. That means I don't think I'm supposed to be here based on that. Usually, if there's an invisible wall, then it means you're in an area that they haven't had a chance to really test a whole lot, and that's probably because you're not supposed to be there. Or it's a badly designed game, but I don't think this game is badly designed. How do I get home? <laughs> I feel lost. Okay. Well, we have a solution to that problem. Whee! Okay. So back in the original square now. I'm gonna go see Krista. I don't really want to run around here any longer. Beachwell. I'm going to Beachwell? Yeah, I think I'm going to Beachwell. Okay. Uh, okay, M2 is ahead. Okay. I feel like this is already a new area I've never been to. No, I hear something. Oh! David Boney! Hi, David Boney. I need to talk to you. Oh, that's the time room. That's what that is. Okay. Hi. As you can see, I've moved to the big city. I've got a whole new life here. I've learned there might be a place nearby where I can learn to sing. I've always wanted to do that. Did you ever patch things up with PhotoDog? Though I will say, the, photo, the stuff with Photodog was your fault. You insulted his glasses for no goddamn good reason. We'd have a small chat when I got here. I thought it was only right to return the passport once I was done with it. It wasn't really mine after all. He said that he respected that I was able to, quote, work outside of the sight of God and dog. What? <laughs> I think we're friends again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know how to interpret that either. I'm not sure whether that makes me glad or terrifies me. I certainly understand that feeling. I mean, that's how I feel about most dogs in this game. I, like, they kind of terrify me. I hate to ask for another favor when you've already done so much for me, but... I've always wanted to make a space of my own. I didn't have any chances when I was a puppy. My parents did the best they could. Now, I've got this chance to define what my life is going to be, and the one thing I want is a big chair. Just a gigantic chair. I want a chair so fluffy... Comfy that it swallows me whole. They're surprisingly rare. You know... Actually, my childhood home... We had this, like... Massive leather chair. It was like... It was... Uh, actually, you know what? It probably wasn't massive. It was probably just adult-sized, and I was a kid. <laughs> but I was small enough that I could basically curl up in the chair, despite being, like... 12 and be like hey this is great i remember being like a really big comfy leather chair and like occasionally i would like drag it from like i'd drag it to the kitchen just be like i'm gonna eat in this my parents were like okay <laughs> well give me a chance to see who, who say who i am and what i want to be through furniture does that make sense it probably sounds silly I start looking around. 
We all have things we like in life. It doesn't have to make sense to other people. Oh, this is my gate! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I got so lucky finding that so quickly. In such a fucking ridiculous place. Okay, I cannot lose this. I'm gonna screenshot this place, because I want to know where it is. What time is it? Is the next question. I don't know what time it is. Okay, so I need to go to 10.30, so it's just around the corner there. And the time room's here, which is convenient. Okay, that is within the time now. We have 54 minutes, which I believe are 54 real minutes, so we have lots of time. But they're here now. Okay, what do I need? Passport clerk dog. Need your red passport first. Okay. Okay. Off to see Krista, the wonderful Krista of Oz. Professor Dog. Hi, Professor Dog. Have you ever tried to teach a room of 42 dogs about tectonic geology? I can honestly say I haven't. I imagine it's difficult. Not for the first 15 minutes. Those 15 minutes, 14 glorious minutes. Then it falls apart like a cheap chew toy. Someone steps on the tail of someone else, a book falls on the floor, and an unusual smell fills the hallway. God forbid someone farts. The room is in an uproar. I'm shouting about the impact of material elasticity on the evolution of natural environments. The two dogs still taking notes in the middle of the excited furry tornado. My students are great. They just hurt me personally on an existential level. I'm very, very tired. You know... How to get that? <laughs> That's fair. Okay, so we're back in Beachwell. Where the heck is Krista? She was down there the first time. Looking for the giant star. Okay. Barista, orb store, tennis ball. Oh, there she is. Okay. So we're going to go over there. Whee! Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah! Awesome! Hi, Krista! Okay, and we will speak to Krista in a few moments, because we are going to go for a short intermission. A reminder to everyone to stretch, get water, snack, whatever you need to do to feel good about yourself and your day. And maybe pee, or whatever you need to do. I don't, I don't know. It's your life. <laughs> I will be back in a few minutes if you listen to these calming melodies.
Hello, hello everyone, and we're back. How's everyone doing today? Again. Yeah, I already said that. I don't know what's going on with my brain. How's everyone doing now? We are going to talk to Krista now. Everyone got a good snack? We're going to jump back into the story. Have you ever managed to get inside the airport gate on the edge of the cornucopia? Wait, when did you get in there? Well, it was a tough period for the big project, and I came into Beachwell with, an ext with extreme sleep deprivation. Nearly passed it on the floor twitching. That's not good. <laughs> I was super out of it, and some goth dogs picked me up to make sure I was alright. Don't tell the rest of the dogs, but the goth dogs are the best dogs. Don't remember the exact details, but the dogs offered some sort of object to the gate and opened up for them. Next thing I know, I'm stumbling through a portal into a cemetery rave. Long story short, a bunch of goth dogs arranged pillows around my caffeine-addled body. I ended up sleeping 14 hours, and goth dogs are the best. I love that. Dear God, do I love goth dogs. Me too. I need to meet some goth dogs immediately. So, what have you been up to? Hmm. I'm kind of curious about the cats. I'll be honest, looking for the cats. They usually don't appear unless they want you to see them. And that doesn't seem to be the case for me. I'm a little jealous, but I wish you luck, babe. Seriously, congratulations. As much as I enjoy these time duty calls, I have to get back to work. I've been thinking about Elf Planet a lot for some reason. Want to meet there next? By which she means Dog Drusil. Elf Planet would be a nice change. The date then. Meet me in the Mushroom Grove on the bottom level. Love you, weirdo. I love you too, weirdo. Okay, so next stop is Dog Drusil. Okay, so I don't really remember a lot of which which what was Phobos and what was Do what Beachwell, but hmm. you know, I'll be honest, I love this game to death. But voicing a lot of characters is kind of exhausting. Because of that, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about pausing this for now because great story and all, but I want to make sure that I have all of the energy that I need to to fully appreciate this game. So what I'm thinking is for us to go and play Path now. I think it's a good time to swap over so that I can get full energy to the story next time that we do it. Okay? Okay. See you in a second and path. For those watching the VOD, thank you so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next VOD.